What is going on guys? Welcome back. Foodie beauty content. Now we've talked a lot about what had to been a tough time for Foodie. Views down, super chats down, engagements down, and here we go. Doing everything she can in a number of community posts to generate interest. And this is what I don't understand with Chantal. So we'll start here. Just to give you an idea, I know I do these schedules or used too often and gave up on them, but I'm going to give it one more try, so please give me another chance. See you. This is for Foodie Beauty Channel. Mondays, member stream. Tuesdays, tasty Tuesday food vlog. Wednesdays, member stream. Thursdays, recorded video. Fridays, open chat. Saturdays, Twitch. Sundays, member stream. Now, if you're new here, Foodie used to put out these timelines continuously and never follow through. I don't even know why at this point she tries to put out these and rather doesn't just actually create the content and not need the schedule to adhere to. If people want to watch Tasty Tuesdays, if they want to watch a recorded video, they will do that. They're not going to simply go because it's Thursday and you have a recorded video, Chantal. If you committed to these first and then projected what you were going to do, it would be a lot more believable. You wouldn't have to worry about your viewers or reaction channels calling you out for not following through. And most importantly, after a week or two, in theory, you could sit down, you could take a look at what people did watch, what they didn't watch, and create a more valuable way for you to spend your time. If no one watches you on Twitch, then you wouldn't have to waste your time doing something that doesn't create revenue for you. With that said, she has a Twitch channel that has been dormant. She was going to do sleep streams on this channel for the longest of time, but now she's decided that it is a, going to be a couple's gaming channel. She uses a Street Fighter logo and says they will do this tomorrow around 3 or 4, because we all know we want to watch Foodie sit and play video games. And then finally, she mentioned that she was going to continue to deal with other content creators that use her videos. And she does this in a way that takes the point she has away. She says, French fried gullet yet again, and claims that because Foodie has more followers on Twitch, it must mean something. Foodie, you do remember those followers on Twitch were from when you lost your YouTube channel and you begged and pleaded for everyone to go over. And for those that don't remember, a very comedic time frame of where Foodie thought she was on Twitch but was actually still on YouTube on a channel she claimed was not hers and was the Beezer LLC channel. She was literally the only person that's ever out of themselves for having a channel they weren't supposed to have. So now she's saying she's going after FFG on Twitch because this is essentially everything she needs. She needs you to be interested in content. She puts out a schedule. She needs to create new content, thinking she's going to bring in new viewers. Thus, she's gaming. And she needs drama. That's why she's going after FFG. Foodie, you've been doing this for a very long time, and I've told you in several videos, the only thing that is going to change your predicament and that low paycheck is going to be creating content people care about, and this is not the way to go about it. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. I will be back as soon as I can without a schedule, but more content.